Hey folks, welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, I'm gonna share with you a real quick setup that I do here and I'm gonna show you how to build it. Uh, so this is what I use, this double box is what I use for weasels and squirrels. Now here in New Brunswick, we have to have our squirrel traps or weasel traps completely enclosed in a wooden box or a metal box uh, with an opening no larger than 3.75 centimeters, but basically an inch and a half, okay? So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you what I got here. I got a nice double squirrel, and then I'm gonna take you into the shop and show you how to build one of these. So this is what we got. A uh, nice double squirrel catch here, one on each end of the box, and I'll show you how it works, and then I'll take you into the shop and show you how we built one. So you flip this up, piece of cake, there we go. So this is designed, two rat traps, right? And a bait holder in the middle, and a real nice, little lid that shuts down, snaps down as such. You can bury them up if you want to a little bit. I use a little bit of spray paint or whatever on them, but uh, you don't really have to. So anyway, this is it. And I'm gonna show you in the video here, uh, back in the shop, how I built this and what the dimensions and all that are in case you wanna build some of your own. Uh, I also do some singles uh, and I'll show you what the singles look like right now. So here's the single version here. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same as far as dimensions go, except uh, the back door obviously is solid and the front door, same way, right? You've got the front door with the hole. Um, and then when you open this baby up, right? So it's just, uh, you've just got the single bait hole in the back and you've got your spot for your rat trap. So sometimes I do singles, um, especially for weasels. Um, I find that there's usually weasels don't usually travel together but a lot of times you'll get doubles on squirrels, right? So uh, as, as you can see in the video that, we, uh, that we're doing, we got a double on the squirrel. So anyway, that's my version of the single box. And uh, it's like I said, it's the same as a double box, except you know, you're not miss, you, you don't have that, that, that extra piece on the outside. So. Okay, so those are the single ones. Now I prefer the doubles for this exact reason, especially for squirrels, right? So lots of times you get a couple of squirrels that are traveling together. And uh, this big tree here has been, there's been squirrel tracks all around it. Back through that little island of woods over there, there's been a lot of squirrel tracks. So, and uh, obviously I'm right, cause I got a, a double overnight here. So anyway, um, if you do find that you get some field mice, on occasion you'll get field mice that'll, that'll get in here, not snap your rat trap, but steal your bait. You can put a little piece of wire mesh like over the holes into the bait pile. So if you put a little piece of um, wire mesh in there, and then when you close this down, then your field mice can get in there. They can rummage around around the rat trap, but they can't, uh, they can't really get at your bait. So uh, anyway, and if you're wondering what I use for bait right down there, for these double squirrels, that's top secret, and I will be doing a video shortly on uh, on what that bait is. But for right now, it's still top secret. So stay tuned to the MB Wildman channel. Anyway, here we go. Uh, here's how you build this baby. Okay, so to get started here, we're going to need two pieces of three quarter inch plywood, and they're cut 22 inches long. Okay, uh, they're also cut five inches wide. Okay, so five wide by 22 inches long, and then I mark one piece as such. Three quarter, and then an eight inch space, then three quarter, then a three inch space, then three quarter, then an eight inch space, then three quarter. That's how I get started. Now keep in mind, this is for a double. Uh, if you're gonna put a trap on each end, so if you got a pretty good area with lots of activity. Uh, if you're gonna do a single, you only need to mark it as far as this as this three quarter mark here, okay? So you would just be from here over uh, if you're just gonna do a single. Also gonna need a couple of pieces, four and a half inches wide and that same 22 inches long. Those are gonna be the sides of your box. Gonna need four pieces that are four and a half by three and a half. These are going to be the end of your box as such and they're also going to represent your bait divider in the middle okay so you get this as you can see right it's going to look a lot like this for a basic okay so you got your trap you got your your bait's going to be here in the center um, and then you've got your your box So each one of your three and a half by four and a half inch pieces, you're gonna to wanna to drill uh, an inch and a half hole in them. I'll try to drill these to the upper half of center, as you can see, 
And then when I put them in, so I'm gonna attach the outside ones with the hole uh, on the upper side, right? And when I put the inside ones in for the bait boxes, for the bait box, I put those with the, uh, with the hole on the bottom side, okay? The reason I do that is just simply because of snow, right? So it, it allows a little more snow coverage and these traps will work. Uh, these can be completely buried in the snow and they'll still work because your weasels, especially, and squirrels, will dig their way down through the snow and, and they'll get in these holes anyway. So um, that's pretty much why I do that. So uh, all four pieces, inch and a half hole, uh, hole up on the outsides, hole down on the insides. Next step I want to do is uh, I want to measure back on my wall pieces seven inches from the front, from the from the front up here, and I want to go up an inch and three quarters, and I want to drill a hole in that uh, in both sides that's big enough to run my piece of rod or my nail or whatever it is that I'm going to use. I want to drill it big enough that that will go through easily. Lastly, just a couple of pieces of the old. Tie down strap, right? Screwed in the top and then screwed on the back there. Creates a nice, uh, nice hinge, all right? And then screw on the top, screw on the side. Little tiny piece of wire is gonna go there to make sure that the box is latched down, all right? So this is just gonna tip up like this, right? It should, if you attach these, you know, loose enough at the back, when you open this up to set it, it'll flop all the way back out of your way, right? And then you're going to have your two rat traps here, your bait in the middle. And with any luck, you'll have weasels and or squirrels uh, in your traps. So anyway, I hope this helps you out and it's something that you can use out on your line. This is a great, great tool, especially here in New Brunswick where you have to have everything enclosed in a box so you can't have any open traps. Um, anyway, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.